Greetings. My name is Brandon. I am part owner of Alliance Logistics LLC. Alliance Logistics LLC is a third party logistics company slash freight brokerage. Uh, and I will start by saying that I am absolutely convinced without a shadow of a doubt in my mind that the freight brokerage business absolutely provides an opportunity for those that are committed, dedicated, and willing to sacrifice. Um, it's absolutely an opportunity there to build a freight brokerage or third-party logistics company into a multi-million dollar business. I'm convinced of that. Uh, I've only been in the business eight months now, and I've been able to clearly identify that possibility for certain. So I definitely wanted to say that up front. For those of you that have any ideas, any thoughts of the type of revenue uh, this type of business can potentially produce, I would just say that uh, there, there really isn't a ceiling. Uh, that's gonna be totally up to you, the business owner, and how committed you are, uh, how much you're willing to invest into building what it is that you wanna build. So with that said, uh, We've been in the business now for eight months and we kind of wanted to just share our journey, if you will, share our journey and some of the hard knocks, some of the things that we wouldn't would do, uh, some things that we wouldn't do again. Um, but when it really boils down to it, it's just we want to just kind of share our journey and what we've had to you know walk, go through thus far and hopefully in our experience, you'll find something that may benefit you and your business. Uh, and hopefully that maybe you can share something with us that will help us in our business. You know, we live in an inter interdependent world. Uh, and of course, we're all dependent on each other to continue to strive to be the best that we can be uh, in business, in life, or whatever venture you may be indulging in. So. I wanted to kind of tell you how we got started. Uh, simply, my business partner started to talk to me about the freight brokerage business. Uh, and he asked me to take a look at the numbers of the business and uh, the potential of the business. And I, after some time of studying and trying to understand more about freight brokerage, we decided that it was something that we wanted to do for certain. So we wanted to figure out what was the best way to get started. And after doing some research, we realized that first of all, you have to have someone to teach you, uh, or someone to train you in regards to how to operate. What are the do's and don'ts of the freight broker operation? <clears throat> what are some things that are legal? What are things that are, are illegal? So just understanding the business. Our understanding, our training uh, came through uh, a freight broker, a freight broker trainer, a uh, freight broker trainer that my business partner looked up and found online after looking at several of them. And he was very comfortable with this particular freight broker. And I will say that it, it, it was a very, very well invested amount of money when we invested into uh, our freight broker training. Uh, it was a step-by-step -step course that explained to you in depth of how to start, establish, build a freight brokerage business step-by-step. -step. I'm a step-by-step -step person, so I kind of like things step-by-step. -step. Uh, and this particular training was a step-by-step -step training, approximately 10 days of training, self-paced. You know, we, we took about 10 days to get it done. Um, and it taught you how to set up your business. It taught you about the client uh, or the customer, um, the customer broker relationship. You know, it talked about developing those relationships and who is the customer. You know, in, in the world of freight brokerage, the customer is number one, the truck driver and the shipper. Uh, that's our customers. And we have to make sure that we are providing a service to the shipper, and of course, a service that 
They can, number one, appreciate. They, of course, identify it as a need, and that service exceeds their expectations. That, that is what we try to do. Uh, so with that said, we started to build our business after we had taken the class. Of course, one of the first things that you have to do is to get an authority, uh, what some refer to as an MC number, uh, a broker authority that gives you, uh, uh, makes you legal when it comes to being a broker uh, to move freight from point A to point B. Of course, we had to also get a, what some refer to as a BMC 85 surety bond or, or surety bond. Um, and with a surety bond, of course, comes credit checks and things of that nature to make sure that you are to see, to check to see what type of risk you pose. And that's, of course, you know, that's always going to be one of those things that have to be checked out uh, when you're making financial decisions as far as a business is concerned. The business owner has to be checked out to see, uh, of course, how credit worthy you are. Uh, so we have a surety bond. $75,000 surety bond, which is the requirement for uh, freight brokerage or third-party logistics company. Um, and of course, setting up an EIN, uh, employee identif identification number for the, for the business, Alliance Logistics. Uh, and then of course, one of the next steps we took is to develop an, a business outline, a business plan outline. And I call it a business plan outline because we look at our, uh, our business plan, of course, when it's completed, uh, as a guide, you know, as a guide that will guide us and direct us to where it is that we want to go. You know, we think the key thing is, of course, to identify where you are and then, of course, identify where it is that you want to go and then lay the plan out to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Um, and that's where we are as far as our business plan is we have an outline and we're starting to write that plan as we go. We're, we're writing that plan as to now we can see after eight months in the business, we can see, okay, where we want to go. And now we're de <clears throat> devising a plan to get to where we want to go. Uh, and I tell you that it's just absolutely, it's an amazing time. It is so much fun, um, building. A freight broker business and I would imagine that with with any business that a person is passionate about uh, that it would be a lot of fun but I would have to tell you this is so much fun I look so forward to getting out of the bed in the morning uh, at 3 a.m. as a matter of fact to get started on my day because you know it's such a, you know such a wonderful opportunity that I look at that lies ahead every day and I'm so in a rush and like a like a child at Christmas uh, waiting on toys. You know, I, I'm in a I'm in a rush to see what challenge do I have that 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 may be for the next day. What challenge is out there? Uh, what do we have to overcome today? You know, we kind of look at it as you have smaller problems now, and as we get better and as we uh, earn our way to bigger problems, then of course we'll get the right to earn. We we'll get the right to solve bigger problems. Right now we have small problem. So as we continue to go down the road, the bigger the problem, uh, the more, uh, the more I would say the, the, the greater uh, feeling of achievement when you solve a problem. And of course, the greater the revenue you produce as well. Okay, so that's the, that's it for the developing the, the business outline, uh, the business plan outline. Uh, also, one of the early stages, one of the things that we had to do was pick a factoring company. Now, factoring companies are a, a very unique business. What a factoring company is, it allows for you to have your accounts receivables financed uh, without you having to have necessarily a line of credit. Uh, so you get to, of course, pay your truck drivers who are a very, if not the most important piece of the entire puzzle. Uh, to pay them on time. Uh, this business is about integrity, doing 
what you say you're going to do all the time. Um, factoring companies are great. They are a great way to finance your business, but at the same time, you also have to be very uh, involved with the factoring process. If they tell you that your customer is going to get paid, if your paperwork is in by 2 and they pay by 5 p.m. the same day on a quick pay, well, if you, of course, relay that to your customer, your customer expects to get paid. Your truck driver expects to get paid at 5 o'clock. Just say, for instance, for whatever reason, the factor didn't pay on time that day. Well, your word said that you would pay the truck driver at 5 o'clock. So always be mindful of that, in my opinion. Be mindful of that and have a game plan just in case the factoring company uh, does not pay on time. That has happened to us on, on several occasions. Uh, and we've always been able to pay because we have um, money allocate, allocated uh, for that kind of situation. Uh, because with us, it's always about doing what we say we're going to do every single time. Uh, and, that's just, and especially when it comes to pay, when it comes to anything that we do from a business standpoint, life standpoint. Just try to do what we say we're going to do all the time. Okay. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about is a phone service. Uh, we have a, a VoIP, a voice over IP phone service. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, we're uh, going to probably have to get another service uh, that is, you know, provides a better service. You know, we just have clarity issues, uh, some hesitation issues, or stall issues with the, with the voice uh, and things of that nature. And in this business, when you're talking to customers, you only have a short period of time to say what it is that you need to say. Uh, and that needs to be uh, communicated clearly, precisely, uh, effectively. You know, and, and a phone service is very important in that. Something where they can hear you without you know, a delay. Uh, so I would say ask questions when it comes to what type of phone service you're going to select. Uh, and at the same time, be mindful of costs where you have a phone service here uh, that you conduct business from, that's a, that's, a, that's a bill. And you have, of course, your cell phone that you may conduct business on. That's a bill. Uh, so we try to be mindful of that. Uh, of course, to always uh, be as aware of overhead as possible. You know, so that you know, if you see a need to decrease overhead, or you, it may even be sometimes where you have to increase uh, the overhead, but you just want to make sure that you are aware of what your overhead is always and control that number. Uh, because of course, you don't make profit until overhead is uh, accounted for. Okay, so after a phone service, you choose a phone service, we had to choose a load board. Now a load board is where you're gonna go out and load or uh, post your loads. When you get a load from the shipper, You'll go out to uh, Internet Truck Stop, uh, DAT, uh, Express, Load Board, uh, whatever load board you, you may choose. Some use Get Loaded. Um, me personally, I use Internet Truck Stop and DAT. Uh, Alliance Logistics, we use those two load boards. Um, you know, you can take a look at them and decide what's best for you. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily... Uh, say that this one is better than the other one. You know, I think it would be a just a, a matter of opinion, a matter of experience. You checking it out uh, to see what you think is best as far as a load board is concerned. A load board is simply used to post your loads so that truckers, trucking companies, can see your loads to give you a call uh, to negotiate pricing to move the load. Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about is a transportation management system. That's the next thing that we put in place. With this system, basically this system will track your load from quote to invoice. From the time you give a quote to the shipper uh, as to what is, it, what is the cost of this load to the time you invoice it. Um, and of course that covers the quote, the the rate con uh, that of course you'll send out to the rate to the driver when 
you agree to a price with him. So it's from the quote to the rate con, uh, and then of course to invoice. Uh, and there are other different places where you can go in and post those loads to your load boards automatically as well. So it's covering that load from quote all the way to invoice, from the time you quote it to the time you invoice it to get paid on it. Okay. Uh, so you have to decide what system you think is, is good for you. Um, Load Pilot uh, is a system that, that we use. It's a very organized system. Uh, we, have, we, we really enjoy using that system uh, because it's very organized and it keeps your loads organized. It keeps everything so that you can see it and report on it as needed. Um, but there are many others out there look at and say it's you know probably the best for you at this particular time based on your needs so I would tell you to do your due diligence where those are concerned and make the decision that's best for you um, next I want to talk about briefly and we talked about it already is overhead our overhead costs uh, are less than $1,000 monthly uh, and I think that is one of the key components of being able to establish a profitable, successful business is, of course, to keep overhead down. Uh, and we are allowed to keep our overhead under $1,000 uh, with, of course, being able to come into a business, choose a few systems that you're going to need, not anything that is going to cost uh, an enormous amount of money starting out but something that will help you manage your system, your, your business, um, and keep it, I would say, keep it under $1,000. You know, I think that's very doable. Uh, we have all of the systems uh, that we need in place now. I'm sure that we can, we'll identify some other things that we need uh, at some point, but uh, the key thing about, it, the, the key to me is, uh, from what we've experienced, is to keep the overhead manageable. Ensure that your overhead is manageable right? because once your outgo exceeds your income, then your upkeep is your downfall. Uh, so just be mindful of, of the, uh, the overhead piece. Um, and the last thing that I want to discuss is developing relationships. Uh, this is such an important piece. This is a, a instrumental piece to the success of a freight broker and it's all about developing relationships with the customers the truckers and the shippers those are those are our customers um, and with truckers and shippers it's about doing what you say you're going to do I explained on the truck driver side about paying a trucker uh, you know keeping your word doing what you say you're going to do. And it's the same on the shipper side. If you, for instance, if you get a load from a shipper and you've given a price to the shipper to move that load, and oh, by the way, you find out, man, I underbid this load drastically. It was a drastic underbid here. Um, uh, it was... Uh, a mistake. So now you have a load and you can do one or two things. You can call the shipper and give it back to him and tell him that you know you can't move the load, which is going to damage the relationship, I would think for certain. Um, or you can move the load. Why? Because you said that you can move the load at that particular price. Um, we don't subscribe to putting our word out and telling the shipper that we can move a load and then saying, oh, we miscalculated and then go back to the shipper and ask for more money or tell them that we cannot move it. No, we simply move the load. If we have to absorb cost in that, then so be it. Uh, but once we give our word, there's a rate quote signed between the shipper and I, uh, then Alliance Logistics is responsible for moving that load. And that's what that's a responsibility we take in that. Uh, and that's just the bottom line. So that is all that I'm going to discuss 
right now. Uh, we'll come back at other time, at another time, and talk about some other things uh, in reference to uh, struggles that we've had in the business uh, and what we're what we're doing to overcome the challenges and hurdles uh, and obstacles that you face every single day. But that's the beauty of the business. Uh, once again, if you're interested in becoming a freight agent uh, or you want some more information about a freight broker, uh, and I'll talk about the freight agent piece um, at a different time, uh, but please get in contact with us. Uh, again, I'm Brandon with Alliance Logistics. Our website is www.alliancelogistics.net and you can reach or contact, reach out to me. 470-427-2711, extension 101. I surely appreciate your time. I look forward to the opportunity for us to dialogue and possibly do business in future. Thank you so much for your time.